Hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today we're going to do another tutorial, and this one's going to be on creating Earth-like planets. Alright, I got a planet here. This tutorial is not going to be a tutorial on the settings that you want for, um, you know, your life likelihood. We're not going to be going into that, I'm focusing more on the looks of it. For this video because in my other videos I've already covered this extensively. Alright so first step you're gonna want to do is actually add water. So if you go to surface and add water you can see it cover the surface and you might want to delete your planet and make a new one if you don't like the land map. Um, this one's decent so I'm gonna keep it but if you want to delete it you can just click on it and then click delete and then just spawn a new one. So that's why I recommend doing the water first so you can see what your land masses are going to look like. Then after you do that, I recommend adding an atmosphere. So you can also, in surface, scroll down a little more. And I'm just going to add one Earth's atmosphere. But I'm, again, I'm not really going into these settings too much. Focusing more on these looks. Alright. And then actually what I want to do is go to appearance now. And I'm actually going to turn off the atmosphere just so I can get a better look at this landmass as I adjust the colors for it. So I'm turned off atmosphere and clouds right here. And Earth has more of a green color on all of its landmass. So I'm gonna put more green colors in here. Dark green, this one. I feel like it's better more of a yellowish green. And the low textures don't really matter too much because that's all underwater. Another thing to note is this contrast meter is going to change the way your land masses look. Uh, I recommend turning this down um, just so you get a little bit of contrast because if you don't have any then it's just kind of bland but if you have too much it looks very ugly. So I kind of like it down here a little more with just a little bit of contrast in there. Then after you do that you can turn your atmosphere and clouds back on and then also turn city lights on. And if you go, let's turn this off. If you go to the dark side of your planet you can see the city lights and if you don't like what it made click on this and randomize your city lights again till you get one you like i like that one i must stay with that one um i think these need a little bit more yellowish in them there we go because too much green and it looks unnatural um and you can see you can also adjust these clouds if you go to the cloud section here. You can change how much coverage and how fast they go. So like if you do, see you can do none on both and then there won't be any clouds. But you could do, we're going to do, I want like thin, but also some sparse ones like that. So I can still see the surface pretty well. And you can change this coverage on like how thick you want the clouds to be. We'll keep it there. And then this is how see-through the clouds are. About right there. And also in the atmosphere tab, you can change the opacity of your atmosphere. If you want it to be thicker or thinner, you can do that. If you just want a little atmosphere like that, go ahead and do that. I kind of like where I had it custom, so I'm going to keep it right there. You can also change the color of the atmosphere. Um, if you're, sometimes planets, when you put an atmosphere on them, they'll be like reddish. So just like change it to like a bluer atmosphere if it's not. And then you can see that this does look pretty similar to Earth. So I'm actually pretty proud of that. If you want to, you can go to the planetscaping tool and draw your own continents. But th there's a lot that needs to be improved with this tool. It's pretty hard to work to make it right. It's not good for shaping entire planets. I'd say it's just good for like filling in little gaps like here. Or you know, if you wanted to make like a gap right there, just whatever. All right, so that's gonna be the tutorial on how to make your planets look like Earth. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thank you. Goodbye.